Hey guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. My name is Carter and in today's video we are looking at the number one credit card to get before 2023. 2023 is around the corner, so I always think it's smart to go into the new year with some sort of strategy, especially for credit cards maximizing those rewards. So we're gonna be diving in and looking at the number one credit card that I think is gonna get the best bang for the buck. So let's jump into it, roll that intro, come on. Bam. And now for the top credit card, drum roll is this. The Capital One Venture X card. Now the reason why I love it is for all this stuff that I'm about to mention. So right off the rip, if you guys buy $4,000 worth of stuff in the first three months of having this card, you're gonna hit a major bonus of 75,000 points, which is equivalent to about $750 worth of travel. On top of that, for each year you have this card, you get 10,000 anniversary points for having that card, which is about $100 for travel. And then just to keep it flowing, you guys get another $300 travel credit per year for traveling. And to top it off, you guys get $100 for either TSA PreCheck or Global Entry. So in the first year, if you guys only spend the $4,000 in the first three months and you pay it off in full each and every month, you're gonna have about $1,000 $300 for traveling, which is a lot. So, and I know a lot of people are saying right now, Carter, what's the annual fee for this card? We'll get into it. Not to mention, if you guys spend more than the 4,000, or if you have a major trip coming up, this is where the biggest value is, is on hotel and rental cars, you guys get 10 times points back. So if you spend $1,000, you get $100 back, which is, which is a lot. And not to mention, you guys get five times points back on all flights booked through Capital One. And just to keep all this awesome stuff rolling, you guys are also going to get free card holders. So if you want to add maybe your wife or your kid, you can add it and you can put spending limits on it so they can only spend a certain amount a week or a month or whatever. Now, one of the biggest things that I think is super, super cool that they have is the cell phone protection plan. So if you guys get your phone lost or stolen or you know cracked phone screen, they have an insurance policy on it. Now, there is some stipulations with that. I believe you have to buy the phone with the credit card in order to have it, but I think it's still really, really cool. And then the last and final thing, if you guys get a rental car, you guys will automatically have a Hertz presidential status which is awesome when we went to Orlando Florida it's way different than any other rental car place that I've been to pretty much what happens is you don't even have to check in with anyone you walk you find the car you want you get in it and then you pretty much leave and that's and that's it you have to sign a paper at the gate that lifts up but other than that it's way easier instead of picking you know cars online I picked the cheapest thing I could find and I had a uh, Toyota RAV4 for like 30 40 bucks a day which is crazy so getting to the annual fee and this is where a lot of people turn their heads okay the annual fee for this card is three hundred and ninety five dollars which seems like a lot I understand that right I get it but you're easily gonna have well over $1,500 worth of travel value. And, not, and I'm not even talking about all the small stuff, right? Because you can have Capital One Entertainment. What that means, you guys get first access to a whole bunch of uh, sporting tickets to you know certain music artists uh, only allow Capital One. And not to mention, you guys will have a whole bunch of premium, premium airport lounges that you can go to all with having this card. So there is so many small little benefits like that that I think go pretty much underlooked, but this card guys is fantastic. And now the people that are gonna have the biggest value out of this are people that are gonna be traveling. If you're somebody that doesn't travel a lot, obviously there's better opportunity elsewhere. And the reason I gave it my number one pick is because I travel quite often. In the past year alone, we probably went to Florida well over three times, went to Tennessee a couple of times. We've gone pretty much here and there everywhere. And with that, with this card, we've pretty much saved thousands of dollars 
booking free airfare. We've booked several hotels for under a hundred bucks for the stay. So I think it's always smart. Do your own research before you guys jump that gun and say, this is the credit card I want because maybe there could be better opportunity elsewhere for you. Maybe what works well for me won't work well for you. But if you guys plan on getting this card, I do have a referral link so we can both get some extra points. So I think that's really, really cool as well that they offer something like that. But guys, that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you guys later. Take care.